Design, technology and engineering have been important to us for a long time, but um, and they, they maintain their importance despite the fact that we've actually technically lost our specialist status in it. Um, the reason that it's important is because uh, Britain needs engineers and it needs technical specialists as well, and these two subjects really help build uh, students' skills in there. One of the things I think that has been really problematic in schools over the years is that we haven't focused on engineering. We've tended to focus on um, a type of design technology that hasn't been that useful in the past. Um, whilst there is, I think, some value in creating a lot of pipe racks, um, there isn't as much value as there is in high-level maths and the application of that maths, and that's what engineering is for us. We started in 2011 uh, and the first race was at Silverstone um, and we've been racing ever since. It's a great start to get people out there in the engineering environment, especially the uh, girls. There's not, not as many girls doing engineering as there should be. Um, I started when I got to the school in year nine, so I'd been at the school for two days and I went to a, my first race. Well, we've got the practical side where we make uh, products but then I quite like the theory side which is learning like how things work and why things do what they do. It's pretty interesting to figure out how a car works, how to make it more aerodynamic, um, how it runs and it's just fun to drive to be fair. They don't realise sometimes but they're, they're learning as they're, as they're having fun. Um, the whole activity is absolutely fantastic for their self-esteem. Um, it's a great image for the school and I get a lot of kicks out of it, the, just the sheer enjoyment of seeing them enjoying themselves um, and achieving something they wouldn't normally be able to achieve. We chose Green Power because um, it combines a number of really good elements of schools. One is that it is school focused and school based, so you're competing um, against other schools. Um, second is it, it has a competition element to it, which is really important. Um, I think it's fine to build um, engines and build cars and go out and race them, but it gets, gets better and the students get more out of it if they're actually competing against somebody else, and Green Power gives um, that opportunity. Plus, it's a real challenge. Uh, you're not taking the conventional route of petrol or um, um, those types of engines, you're, you're taking electric and actually making um, something that's electric move quickly uh, and uh, giving it some endurance I think is a, is a really difficult skill actually and that's why we chose it. The team building is great actually, I, two weeks ago I, I watched them when they got a puncture and uh, actually getting the whole car, getting everything off the back of it in order to change the puncture um, was really was a team effort and you can see the beginnings of what Formula One do um, only at much much greater speeds but they have to work together um, and one of the things that becomes apparent very, very quickly is that individualism doesn't work with green power racing um, at all. Uh, so everybody becomes important, whether it's the person who's uh, painting a bit of the car, as I think you can see in the background, or uh, the person that's actually driving it, or the person that's um, uh, stripping wheels off it, or whatever it is. Everybody is involved in the design of the car, everybody's involved in the engineering of the car, as well as the racing. <laughs>